Man, I gotta tell you guys, it's nice to be back, but I have really not messed with my PS Vita in so long. It's been a very long time that I've been on my console. I haven't played a lot. But yeah, I haven't really messed around with my Vita too much. But I found one of the most interesting uh, plugins, which is the Vita Graphics Configurator. Uh, this is a plugin that allows you to up the frames and the resolution of specific PS Vita games. Now, there's a whole list of these games of which you can you know, upgrade the resolution and the frames on some of these games. And I'll go through and show you a quick one here. God of War is by far one of my favorite games of all time. And God of War on the PS Vita looks terrible. I, I, I do not like how it looks. It was hard for me to play the game because my eyes were like bleeding. Uh, from the 30 frames and the, just a really, really low resolution on it. But this plugin will help you raise the frames and the resolution on it. So we're going to take a look at it here real quick and show you what I'm talking about. And let's go to God of War 1 because that's that's one that I was kind of messing around with it a little bit. Also, we're actually going to get the... Uh, that's actually the plugin. You saw that little icon on the top? That was the plugin taking into effect. So what we're going to do is just go back to the configurator here. Now you can download this through Auto Plugins 2. That's what I did. You can download the plugin through Auto Plugins 2. And you can download the application, the Vita, sorry, the dedicated Vita Graphics Configurator app for that plugin so you can go in and change the settings easily seamlessly because if you don't have this you'll have to do it manually which kind of sucks uh, so that's why this app was made so let's take a look at it real quick uh, so it's showing me currently the games that I have installed there's a huge library it's not that huge but there's a library of games that can be messed around with uh, not all of them will be able to do it though uh, I know that God of War had a little special like you see how Dragon Ball Z doesn't have the frames, but you can see God of War Collection has the FPS cap and the Dragon Ball Z does not. But you can change the uh, the resolution on this and it is a bit tricky to, to do it, but it's not that difficult. Uh, you just have to follow what is showing you at the top there. Very easy and simple. Now for God of War, it's very easy because all you have to do is just hit the left and right on your D-pad and you can change the resolution just like that. Uh, I go on the max of 960, but we're going to do off. So you, we'll show you the defaults. Uh, FPS cap is at 60, so we'll just turn that off. And you have to save config. Configuration saved. Awesome. And now let's go back into God of War. This is by far one of the best plugins that you can install on your PS Vita. And I just came across it uh, because I was like, man, there's got to be some kind of patch for God of War. Because I really want to play it and get these trophies on my PS Vita. And now that we finally uh, got this plugin to work for us. And let me get this uh, volume down here because I know it's going to be pretty loud. Let me uh, lower that real quick. So now the plugin is recognized. It's it's recognized there and it's showing as default. Even the artwork right now is like it's giving a hard time with my eyes. Now you can see that the frames are at 30 and we're going to load our game. And yep, we're at the docks of Athens. So let's take a look at that. Now, I will blow up the screen here so you guys can see uh, the full picture of the PS Vita. So, let's do that. Would you like to save the game? Uh, no, let's go back. So, here's God of War. 
one from the uh, God of War collection on the PS Vita. You can see we're at 30 frames, and I do have my overclock plug in, and it's at max there. Oops, sorry. So yeah, that is how it looks, and I have a hard time <laughs> playing through that. I know it's a lot of retro stuff, but you know we have the capabilities to to maybe enhance this just a tad bit. And now we we have that with that plugin, which just barely came across. I should have caught. I should have uh, covered this a long time ago, but I'm glad to be talking about it here today with you. So, oh. Look at that. That's lovely. This is why I love God of War. You know, that that's one of the main reasons. <laughs> but they're so pixelated, you know, you can barely it's like <laughs> Anyways, uh let's go back to the uh configurator. And now we can change the resolution and frames on this game. So let's go to God of War collection. Now before we do uh, again, I did tell you guys that it shows only install games, so this is enabled, and you can change it to see the full library, and I'll also leave a link in the uh, comment section down below where you can see the full library and uh, view the list and see if you have a game on there that's able to take the, uh, the upgrade on it. So the frame buffer, we're going to put at 960, and the frame caps at 60 frames. So let's save config. Let's get out of here and let's go to God of War. Now keep in mind that not every single game is going to have this potential. Uh, so again, just take a look at the list. But just install it and see if your game just shows up on there. But uh, that's the best way to, to know, obviously. So yeah, Santa Monica Studio. That's such a cool logo. All right, so let's go to God of War. All right, so there's the Vita graphics configurator. And we're hitting 45. So before we were at 30. Well, that's a nice little boost. And I haven't done really intense testing on this, where whether or not if this affects your battery. I would imagine it would. I would assume it would since you're up in the resolution on this and, and pushing it a little further. Right? So here's God of War now with the uh, bump. And you can see it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot sharper. It's not so fuzzy. And we're almost hitting 50 frames there. So yeah, we're consistent at 45, 50. They're looking pretty, pretty nice there. I noticed that the horns on this guy was really hard to see. Now they're a lot sharper on the, on the wall, the the bull or whatever the hell that thing is. But yeah, it looks a lot cleaner. Looks a lot better, my opinion. Looks awesome. But there is an issue with. Uh, I'll show you right now. Where it, if you have a lot of enemies around, you will get a lot of... Uh, man, this looks beautiful too. Like this, before, it wasn't looking too pretty. <laughs> but the resolution does help it a lot to make it sharper and just make it a lot more cleaner. Uh, now, when you have a lot of enemies, your frames do drop. I think that's pretty common. Uh, you know, now we're at 33, 34. But i rather have a much sharper resolution than what we had before and it does help a lot so yeah, it looks really good super stoked on this so yeah guys that is what i've been talking about there and let's see if we can go back to where i was there we go so there you have it that is the vita graphics configurator app plugin for the vita so let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this really cool setup and if you already use it, and what games you really love playing with this uh, configurator, because it's just awesome. I can't wait to start streaming this and having some fun with it and earn those trophies. So, 
Thank you again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment down below. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.